Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Really excited for today's video. Um, so, I really liked this series. Um, the first two I had, like, blew my mind. The last one was really good, but it wasn't, like, that level, that, like, next level. And I think it was in part, well, not in part, I think completely, that um, it had some fruit that I didn't know very well. And... Um, so maybe like it was hard to identify what I was tasting, you know, and being able to describe it, but also just not a fruit that I like gravitate towards. That is not the case today. So uh, you could probably tell already this is uh, Mortalis and it's their Hydra series. This is mango, peach, and strawberry. I am all in on all three of those ingredients. Um, it is 7% ABV. They're labeling it a fruited sour. Here's a different thing. Uh, it says crumble up here, and in my never-ending quest to go in as blind as possible, I did not look up what crumble means. I'm going to assume, like, um, it has, like, spices, like cinnamon, maybe more sugar, or, I don't know, I shouldn't say more sugar, maybe some sugar added, so maybe a little sweeter. Um, I just, the other ones didn't say crumble. I don't know. Maybe I should have looked it up. <laughs> I like that color. It almost looks like um, like murky, like uh, carrot juice or something. But yeah, I mean, you, you tell me it has like mango and strawberry. It's about the car, I would think. You know, it's got that peach as well, obviously. Um, yeah, there's some pectin sticking inside glass. I mean, no head. I mean, I, I can't comment on that. Um, not quite V8 looking, but close. Man, I, this glass is... Not want to act like I just cleaned it. Yeah, looks like juice. <laughs> looks like a blend. It's gonna say aroma. For me, it's hitting the strawberry, but there's like a creamy. Maybe crumble is like lactose. I don't know. Cause like like strawberry strawberries and cream then there is this nice mango and you get some tartness but it's pretty sweet smelling or should, well there is some tartness or not sourness but there is some tartness it does have that sweetness i'm not surprised it has peach in it but if i was doing this blind i probably would not say peach whereas like the strawberry and the mango are pretty hard not to pick up like a lot of <laughs> I'm like so happy that I'm like, yeah, I didn't look it up. I was curious by it, but I'll look it up after I try the beer. But like now I'm super curious what that is. Because it does smell a little sweeter. Anyway, it smells really good. It's going to taste. Cheers. It does taste really good. Um, has that nice level of tartness. A little bit sour, but it's mostly for me it's tart. I get that mango. The peach is more than I got in the aroma. Interestingly, and maybe it's some of the the base beer, it's it's like peach skin and in, in the flesh, uh, you know, the, the the meat of the fruit right by the the skin. Um, it, it's not overly ripe, but it is it is unmistakably peachy. Um, there's. I want to say generic berry. Let me try one more time, see if I get specifically strawberry or, or actually just like a mixed berry or something. It's mostly strawberry. Yeah, but there there is like a generic berryness to it. I, I could almost taste like blueberry even. Um Man, there's something else, so like, so right now, in terms of like me doing the review and you watching, I don't know how interesting this is because I'm mostly just saying what's on the side of the can with that generic blueberry-ish berry thing. But there is something else that's familiar. I mean, it awesome, you know, weird, uh, uh, you know, mouthfeel. Obviously, you know, everyone loves the is it a beer or not debate. Uh, so you get that awesome level of fruitiness has enough tartness where it's not just straight juice. Um, like if you had just pureed up these fruits, you don't taste the ABV. I like it. So like, like all of that stuff for a beer review is out there and good. But there is something else that's familiar. 
I'm gonna go in one more time and try to place it. Uh, in terms of the, like the, oops, this is like way off. In terms of like the crumble and what the heck crumble could be, I'm, I'm not getting spices. So like, you know, if it does have something like a cinnamon or whatever in it, I don't get that. Um, it's not overly sweet or vanilla-y, so I'd be surprised if there's lactose. If there is, I'm not tasting it. But there is something familiar, so I'm gonna go one more time. I'm so mad at myself. You know what? Mm. It's like yogurty. So maybe there is some sort of lactose and that's how it's coming across. <clears throat> yeah, that's interesting. It's kind of like fruit at the bottom, Greek yogurt or something, or whatever kind of yogurt you eat. And like you can get what yogurt tastes like without a bunch of sugar and fruit in it. But then you get as you're eating the fruit at the bottom and then you get that fruit. Wow. That is, that's kind of trippy actually. Um, I, I'll, I'm probably, probably remember to put what the crumble is in the description box below. So feel free to comment on it. That's fine. But like, if anyone is wondering, I'll, I'll save you looking it up. If I can find online what the crumble is, I'll put in the description box below. But yeah, I like this a lot. I uh, hope you guys liked the review. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it was appreciated, obviously. Check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews in both of those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.